Hey folks, Engineer775 here. Wanted to share something, uh, not my normal type of project, but uh, fun nonetheless, and it is of great support to everything that I do on my channel, at my job, and um, having a decent computer um, is very important to me. And uh, I've been <laughs> cruising along with two uh, antiquated laptops and um, just not being able to... Um, work efficiently in the office in terms of using software to whether it's creating better videos, processing, rendering, exporting, or just uploading or just just all of the, the work that I find myself doing lately on the computer. I was like, that's it. It's time to go back on the grid and let's get a computer that works. Um, so we have built here um, using this tool called PC Part Picker. I set up an account, Engineer775, and uh, started to build a computer. I had a friend that had built a Hackintosh, a combo unit, using this process and was pretty happy with the procedure. So what I ended up doing was um, basically picking parts. And when you start off with this, you might not know what to do. So you can start off and um, there's some build guides. Kind of, you know, here's a gaming computer, a enthusiast, an entry level, you know, you know, the, we're talking down to three, four hundred dollars, up to thousands of dollars. So it covers the whole gamut, and you can see some examples where people have completed a build, and they'll tell you exactly what they put into it and why they did what they did. Some get real fancy with the lighting, which is pretty cool. I haven't done that. And then, um, and then you can actually sharp shop for individual parts that you might already need for your existing setup, or for future upgrades. So what I did is I. Um, you can save your parts list. I built a couple computers here online. Let's go to my engineer 775 one and let's edit the list. So we can look at everything from CPUs to CPU coolers all the way down. So I built a complete system with accessories from keyboards and mice to video cards and all sorts of things. So the nice thing when you don't know what you're doing, like I didn't, um, it does a compatibility check. And the compatibility check allows you to find out if is the CPU going to work with this motherboard? Is this motherboard going to fit inside this Fantex case? You know, will everything fit together? Um, the cool thing about building a desktop is you have tons of room to do what you need to do, and so space usually isn't the issue. But the compatibility in terms of plugs and will it fit and will it work together? You know, is very important. So that kind of does that for you with this compatibility check. It also gives you the price and where you're going to actually buy it from, and so you can it can it just is a great organizing tool to help you. Um, it also, from us nerds that want to know how much everything uses, right down to the watt, um, this it tells you what the system's going to use and what each component in the system will use. There's a lot of fans in my um, cabinet, and there's about five of them actually, and it tells you what the video card, what the hard drives are going to use and so it's nice to know that hey I'm using 244 watts when this thing's running and that's nothing to shake a stick at if you're an off-gridder that that's a lot of power so pay attention to that if that's an issue um, what else can I tell you the other cool thing strategy that I really like is having two hard drives one that is a fast solid-state drive and another one that is basically just a old workhorse that has is there for storage and I got a whole terabyte of storage for less than 50 bucks, so that's an awesome thing. Now the solid state drive is good size, and the phone of course rings. And I um, love that. And so, <laughs> plan ahead, Scott. Turn your speaker down. But anyway, um, the solid state drive for a uh, computer is just super fast and does what need. It, it just allows you to. Um, work faster things compute faster because you're not there's no drive spinning there's no bearings it's just like a giant fast thumb drive so anyway cool stuff won't go into all these things so but check it out um, you can you can do a lot and then build the computer and what we have found using this process is you know in less than two hours I was able to build um, this computer get it up and running and you know of course you got to add your software and things like that which take time but the actual build getting it fired up everything was recognizable um, had one issue not recognizing the drive um, had to partition the storage drive but other than that no problems 
and highly recommend it. So what I'm going to show in the remainder of this video is just um, some of the shots of us building the computer. And um, so, have fun. Come on down, Eli. we got to put this computer together. Okay. All right, I'm pretty excited about this. i got Joe, who's uh, going to get me going here. He's already built a, a Hackintosh. He's gone through this process, so I'm hiring him. This is going to speed things up. We're going to go ahead and put the motherboard in first, right? Yep. And um, so let's just go ahead and uh, we're going to put the CPU on the motherboard. Yep, we're just going to flip this open and pop the CPU pop in. CPU. And we don't have a cooler on this one. We could have gone real fancy with a, all sorts of heat sinks and coolers, but I think it's got one anyway with that with it, yeah. fan. Yep. Okay. All right, I'm just going to take uh, various shots of this. And while we're doing this, I'm going to be using this uh, little kit that somebody just sent me. It's a Cintus 56 bit magnetic kit with all sorts of extensions so I said yes yeah, send me one I gotta put a computer together it might be handy so I've actually used it on a couple inverters and some other jobs so it's been very handy so far okay we just put the motherboard in using my handy dandy tool we've got everything lined up here in the back all our USB ports and audio cables mic cables and now we're just taking all the cables that came with the Fantec case and plugging them into the motherboard. They're all nicely labeled, so you don't have to guess what it is. Yep. Okay. Okay, we started plugging in cables to our motherboard, and now we're going to put the get the power supply in because we got a pretty good set of uh, wire harnesses we got to deal with here, or a wire harness that has a lot of connectors. So the power supply is going to go in this area of the case and we're going to run to the motherboard and have it ready for everything else. Alright, we've got the motherboard in a different location. we got our power supply plugged in. we got our Rip Jaws 16 gigabytes of RAM. And now Joe's going to, we're going to pop in this uh, video card. You can just unplug, unplug this, this cable. Early. We'll work on wire management later. I'll just have them all right, we just pop the terabyte hard drive in, and we're just looking for the power. Here's your power for all of your hard drives. All the oh, all right. Okay, moment of truth. We're ready to fire this baby up for the first time. I wanted to do a dual monitor setup, and I got all these LED. There's some extra parts, so that's not good. But we'll play around with that later. So this is the first attempt to start up the the new build. Here we go. Oh, I see fans turning. I see a little bit of communication going on between the monitors. Fans spinning, but uh, I don't see anything else happening. Ooh, that's a good sound. Hey, look at that. We got one monitor that came up, but the other one is not. Being recognized. I have one plugged into the motherboard and one plugged into the graphics card. And I uh, put the Windows 10 CD in to boot up. So, hey, that's looking, that's looking promising. That's always a, a good sign, whether you're a Microsoft guy or not. All right, install now, making progress. Okay, so I've got everything loaded on this computer, so all my software and drives partitioned, and um, so it's been, it is awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, video processing here using Adobe Premiere. I have the Adobe Suite that I use. Um, I'm still learning it. It is so powerful. Um, so it being able to export the files, render them, oh my goodness, it's so much faster. I've been working on a laptop for years and not having to be on that laptop has been just great. Um, I've, I can't believe I've been put this off this long. So, um, so the PC parts picker was a great way to go to build a PC. Um, yes, you could build one faster and you can get in all sorts of crazy stuff, but I didn't really need it. With the video card and both monitors, this really helps my productivity. Um, just I can open up a gazillion windows like I like to do, and whether it's just in, in browsers or I use Google Earth and SketchUp and um, just a whole host of toys and tools to do what I do. 
um, and now having the two full screens is just awesome and this machine I have so much room in the cabinet I can completely add I can add drives um, one thing that I do really like is having that uh, faster SSD solid state drive and the storage drive so I'll use Dropbox I love using um, Dropbox so I have Dropbox on my terabyte drive don't really care about the speed of accessing that and then I do my work the processing the rendering the exporting um, on that solid state drive so there's no spinning no bearings it's just like it's just a new world for me so I'm having fun um, did I save much money I don't know you know you start shopping around and you might add a component that you might not have added um, before um, in terms of it's tempting to buy the faster the latest greatest so um, you know, I think we could have, I saved probably, instead of just going out and buying a desktop from Dell or whoever, I probably saved myself about $300. Plus it was fun just to give Elijah the exposure to what actually um, is involved in a computer working, all the components. So we went through the core, the motherboard, the video card, and, and all the components. Yes, it's plug and play, and, and there's just one level of appreciation above, um, you know, quite a ways above understanding how everything works. But it was uh, nice to be able to share it with him and to show him that uh, he can build his own computer if he ever wanted to. So anyway, just wanted to encourage you to check out PC Parts Picker. I have no stake in that. I'm not advertising for them other than I thought it was a fun way to get started building your own computer without having to know whether or not sockets are compatible. Will this motherboard fit in this case? They do that work for you, and so um, if you add a component to your list that isn't compatible with another component, it will tell you. So if you're picking 15 things from motherboards to mice, then uh, everything will work, and everything did work. So I think it took me, and I have my buddy Joe with me, so laying everything out from opening box, putting together, I think it was two hours to build the computer had no issues whatsoever um, and it's just it fired up and worked great I put Windows 10 Pro on it and so far so good so alright um, this is engineer 775 signing out from the office